guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back I should say. So today's video is going to be on a bronzy, sexy, almost like a bronze goddess type of look. I have been obsessed with like highlighting, bronzing, I mean I don't know if it's just the blonde, like the brighter blonde hair that's kind of getting to me, but I know that this is definitely one of my favorite looks. I've been wearing it a lot recently. And I just thought, hey, why not do a video on it? I think that you guys would like it. Also, it's my first time wearing my hair straight, which is, you know, a little different for me. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just make sure you keep watching. All right, you guys, I already primed my face with my Too Faced primer. Next, we're going to be taking the Sephora Pantone Universe um, eyeshadow palette. I know that it's not available anymore, but any bronzy color would do just fine for this look. So I'm just going to be putting this into the crease. And it's okay if you guys get it onto the lower lid as well. I'm not really worried about bringing it out to a certain point or making it look so clean because it does kind of look nice when it's a little bit messier with this color. The next color we're going to be working with is this orangey, reddish, like terracotta type of color. And I'm just going to be putting that into the crease as well but this color is going to be a little bit lower than the bronzy color that we just applied and I'm just going to be working that into that lower crease and then picking up this lighter color for the brow bone. I really thought twice about using this palette you guys but it had all the colors that I loved and that I needed for this look but any colors or any palettes would work just great. Next, I'm going to be working with my Champagne Pop by Becca, and yes, that is the pan, you guys. I know I have to get a new one, and I'm so happy that they're finally back in stock for good. I'm just taking this color on a wet, flat brush, and I'm just going to be pushing this into the lower lid. I love a bright lower lid, and I think it really complemented this look a lot. So I'm just going to be patting that back and forth, adding more color to add more intensity. Next, I'm going to go in with that same brush that we used first, just to kind of blend all of those colors together so we have no harsh lines. Next, we are going to be working in some falsies. I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Iconic Duh. They are my absolute favorite lashes to wear. I wear them almost every time I do a makeup look. But I'm going to be using these lashes. And if you guys want a lash tutorial, make sure you let me know in the comments and I could definitely do that for you. Next, we're going to be using the Anastasia um, Brow Definer. This is in the medium brown. Also, if you guys want a more in-depth video on that, let me know in the comment box and maybe we can do like a lash and brow tutorial in one. Next, we're going to prep and prime the face. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Face Cream Super Hydrating and my YSL foundation in the color BD60, my favorite foundation, you guys. I have been loving it. It's the Luminous Foundation by YSL. Next, I'm going to be using the YSL Color Corrector in Lavender. This puppy right here, you guys, is so good for brightness under the eye. I have been obsessed and kind of bringing it down a little bit further, like an upside down triangle to give a lot of brightness in the middle of the face. Next, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD or Ultra HD um, Invisible Cover Concealer. This is in the color Y. Two, three. I just do a couple little dots and then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. A little goes a long way with this guys so if you guys do end up picking this up just make sure you use a little at a time. It should last you forever. Next, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Bronzer. This is actually a liquid bronzer. I have been using that LA Pro Conceal, and it kind of leaves my face muddy sometimes, so you really, really have to take the time to blend it out. This, on the other hand, is so soft, so smooth, and it looks so natural. 
Next, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Bronzer in Sun Bunny. And I actually use this guy to bronze the rest of my body as well, like my chest and my neck area. Especially if we're going a lot more bronzy on the face, you want to make sure that it definitely complements the rest of the body. So I make sure to drag it down all the way to my chest as well. Next order of business, I finally got my hands on this glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just spraying my brush because it does make this highlight a lot more skin-like and not so powdery on the face. Sometimes when we go in with just the powder, it can make our face look a little bit more textured. So I'm just putting that all over the face, making this a very beautiful bronzy look. And then we're going to drag it down to our chest as well. So my main focus is the collarbones and where my shoulders are because that is where the light reflects the most. And look how beautiful that looks. Just a little to add to the rest of the body really makes a big difference. This is the finished look for my sexy bronze goddess makeup tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little tiny bit different but hey, the summer's coming up, spring is here. I mean, I am just ready to bronze it out to the max. I feel like you can never have enough bronze. And body highlighting, I'm just all for it, girl. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, make sure that you guys go subscribe to my daily channel so you guys can check out like behind the scenes stuff and also just my everyday daily life. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys subscribe here. And I'll also link it down in the description box below. Also, I have a lot of people um, like DMing me and asking me what my Snapchat or what my Instagram is. So just so you guys know, my Snapchat is Lisette55 and my Instagram is just Lisette Cornejo, same as my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Mwah!